it's like a lot of times people see your life and they have no idea what faith really looks like or obedience hey guys so i feel like i owe you an explanation of just what's been happening i feel like <laughs> some of you just haven't asked some of you have probably wondered like what happened to tay like what happened to her business like i thought she was like all in and i i've always been all in and i truly believe in the business model and you've seen god bless me and you've seen the testimonies of what god did through my business and i've been sharing about my business for the past two years it's it was gonna be three years this upcoming april and i brought you guys along all throughout my journey and just how i brought you along my business journey i just have to share with you guys like what happened and like what led me to this point of having to release my business which it's something that i didn't expect but before I continue on with my testimony, go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel. It means the world when you guys support me. So let's just get to it. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people are getting on here just to hear that like <laughs> something bad about it or whatever. And it's like, it really isn't. It's been the biggest blessing in my life. Like I will forever encourage people to be part of this business like my girls know like so many of them are still doing the business I just kept getting a nudge um, just to release and I, at first I, I, I kept rejecting it because I was like I don't get it I mean I thought that this is what you had for me you know this is what I've been promoting for the past two years and like I really believe in uh, being an entrepreneur for the kingdom of God I really believe for you know using this this sphere of influence for the glory of god and i feel like that that's what i did all throughout my business like i continue to give god the glory and i feel like i met so many amazing people i've i've met my closest friends in this season just literally this business made me the person that i am today like i grew so much i was able to realize the the potential and like and like the leadership that god has placed inside of me but as you guys know when i moved to california everything just started to take a turn that i did not expect for myself and i just feel like god took me through a season of just like everything that i've ever known it's like he was just creating something new and something that i really started feeling was like like my business was kind of like in a standstill for a very long time and i didn't understand and then once i went to monation i was like okay i can still do this like i've done it before i could keep pushing this business and i was so filled with hope because i got to meet so many girls in monations who really encouraged me to tell me that because of the way that i've ran my business and because of how i've spoken about god that they've been more bold about god and that they found a church or that they got baptized or that they started a relationship with god because of like the way that i ran my business which to me that was like the goal like i really wanted to give god the glory all throughout my business so when i came back um i think this was like after yeah after august like i came back from Onations, and then come september i just felt like the lord literally put a complete pause like in my heart of just like are you willing to release this and i feel like i get emotional because i feel like when you walk with god there's so many things to to obedience that people don't know and sometimes it's releasing it's releasing things that you love it's releasing things that have been a blessing for such a long time and in my heart and in my head i didn't even think it was possible like i was like how am i going to release this now like i've i've built such a team and i've built such a community and and i've spoken about this for so long and like you want me to release it now and as i began to wrestle with god um he just started sending different people to just like confirm what he was trying to tell me and i remember we had a revival night <laughs> i didn't expect to cry we had a revival night and i remember this girl her name's gabby she came up to me and she's like hey tay i just really feel like i need to pray for you and god wants me to tell you this and she said i see god in a green couch 
like in the book of Solomon where he talks about my beloved and I see God waiting for you in this couch and then I see a ketchup bottle in the table mind you she had no idea that I love ketchup but I think that God has a sense of humor um, but she's like I see God throwing the ketchup and I hear him saying stop trying to catch up and I knew in that instant that that was God just confirming like I'm calling you into a season of rest and that's something that she said back to me she literally said God is calling you into a season of rest and the more that you're willing to yield the more that he's willing to do in your life and I knew that that was sacrificing something that has been so important for me in the past year so I went to sleep with that and I was like man God once again, I don't even know what that looks like. And then the next day on Saturday, God sent my pastors, like my pastors showed up to our house and they literally were like, hey, um, we just feel God saying that he needs you guys to be faithful to the season that you guys are in. And whatever doesn't add to this season, is just not part of your, like it's not part of what God wants to do in this season. And in this season was us being full-time missionaries and just trusting that God was gonna provide. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to cry, but it just blows my mind the way that God is so loud when he wants to be. The fact that he spoke to me back to back and then that wasn't even the cherry on top because after that I was still kind of like wrestling it and I was like, man, God, does this really mean you want me to release my business? And I know that you can say like, oh, but hey, you can keep running your business and still being a full-time missionary. I mean, that's what I, I wholeheartedly believe. But I feel like that there are seasons of rest and where God just wants you to be so mindful of what he is trying to show you and what he's trying to teach you that he, he doesn't even want you to worry about how you're going to make finances or how you're going to work for it, but that you're just so in his presence that nothing else matters. And I feel like that's what God really just intended for this season that he just wanted me to be so <laughs> just so focused on him but that I didn't have to worry about getting on a call for you know a team meeting or you know having to pour into someone like I just feel like God wanted to pour into me in this season and it even if it feels like it's been a hidden season it's just been what God wants it to be and it's just been so precious to be with God um but that's not that's not even in even after that day like that week i just felt this like urgency from god that i needed to release and i just prayed about it and i just kept being like god i need you to give me the strength to even confront my team because i don't want to betray them i don't want them to think that like wow look at tay now she's gonna leave us you know um, so I just continued to pray about it and I remember it was like four days later or five days later It was like Friday Saturday and then on a Thursday there was there was gonna be a ministry night for um, Our missions organization and there was gonna be this woman who is a prophet. Her name's Amy Ward I just remember that on that Thursday like I just felt God say like today's the day like you're gonna tell the team you're gonna release you know you're you're letting go or and when i say that i'm letting go i don't know if this is forever i just know that this is my act of obedience right now and i had to be obedient because like delayed obedience is still disobedience and i just felt like it was an urgency from the lord to be obedient to him so that thursday i literally did a team call at like 4 p.m i told them in my chat and i was like hey guys i feel like i need to share with you guys something in my heart um i really hope that you can all get on and like my whole team got on so i just shared my heart with my whole team and i told them that you know i had to be obedient and that i didn't know what this fully meant i just knew that um i love them and that i really encourage them to keep pushing and just because i was releasing it didn't mean that they had to release because i wholeheartedly believe in the business it changed my life like it literally changed my life like i went from zero to a hundred in like a year <laughs> like i didn't have a, have a car i couldn't pay for so many things and by the grace of god through this business like God bless me so I can pay for my whole wedding so I can pay for my apartment in California it's just crazy how this business blessed me so much and um, I just really wanted to encourage them to keep 
keep pushing because I completely saw the finances, the miracles that happened through this business. Um, and it was just a, such an emotional night where like everyone cried and I cried like a baby. Um, but when I got off, I just felt this sense of relief and just this peace like overcame me and I just felt God so pleased. And then that night, it was like the ministry night in the missions organization and it was like she the prophet was gonna, gonna be praying for people in the room and it's crazy because she only prayed for three people in the room i thought she had prayed for more people but one of those people was me which was crazy because i had never met this woman and the first thing that she said to me like i had just let go of my business and she said god wants me to tell you thank you for releasing that opportunity and choosing him you chose right like she literally said those words she knew nothing about me has no idea i was a business owner like she knows nothing and i just knew that was god's confirmation so that if i had any doubt inside of me that i knew a hundred percent that it was from him and it's just so crazy how like this season is just so filled of faith <laughs> i'm so sorry i didn't mean to cry all throughout but it's just like a lot of times people see your life and they have no idea what faith really looks like or obedience really looks like and it's literally sacrifice and dying to yourself it's dying to your desires and your wants and and just being obedient to what god wants and it's like we don't really know what's on the other side of our obedience we just know that we have to be obedient and um it's just been such a beautiful season of just trusting the lord if you haven't seen we started a donations account um because again just trusting that god will continue to provide um i mean my account is still active for my business it's not like i just completely close my business down but it's just that i release like the focus of like constantly building and like promoting because in this season like the most important thing is just that we are so wholeheartedly invested in the mission that God has us in to bring souls, to bring people to Christ. And we're, you know, we're gonna be on tour January through March. And like every single day, we're going to a different campus and where we're bringing the gospel and we're preaching the word of God. And I truly believe that so many people are gonna come to Christ. And <laughs> I'm just so excited because it's like, I didn't expect this at all <laughs> I know that I was called and that God was gonna use my voice but I just didn't see it like this and I just feel like even though it's so left field it's so God <laughs> and um, I just pray that God continues to lead you guys to sow into our season because it's truly a faith filled season and I just I love you guys so much and I'm just so thankful that you've been part of my journey like whether I've had little or i had much <laughs> like i don't have little because i have jesus and jesus is the most beautiful part of my life and i just feel so rich <laughs> i feel so rich in jesus like i'm so filled with joy i'm so filled with peace to know that i can trust god that he will continue to provide and make way for my husband and i that is the most beautiful part about our season and all the people that we're just gonna be meeting all throughout and to know that people are gonna see miracles and are gonna be saved and that they're gonna be met by the love of God I don't think that there's anything greater than that <laughs> um, I don't know what the future holds I just know that this season is just a season of, of obedience and surrender um, but I love you guys so much continue to keep Daniel and I in your prayers um, I once again I love Monet I love I love multi-level marketing Marketing. I wholeheartedly believe in it if you're looking for a business venture like, I have nothing against my business like it's been the biggest blessing like you can still buy products from me I am just not as invested in growing a team and mentoring girls the way that I, I was before um, you know some girls have still joined my business I just haven't been able to really build them up the way that I wish that I could but it's just awesome to see the fruit of the women that I did get to do life with through my business, seeing them run, seeing them accomplish more than that 
more than they could have imagined like some of them have started their own business some of them are still building in this business and are being so successful just to see what God is doing in their lives so many of them are leaders in their churches now some of them have started their own businesses some of them are just thriving and just overachieving in everything that they do and I'm just so grateful because I can see the fruit if you were blessed by this testimony I encourage you to like and subscribe to my channel I love you guys so much and I pray to continue to share and shine the light of Jesus all throughout my channel and just thank you for listening and just allowing me to be vulnerable with you guys because again obedience isn't always easy but it's always worth it for the name of Jesus so I love you all so much and I'll see you next time bye everyone